AutoDJ is one of the most popular extensions, since it provides you with the option to upload the songs to a rotation playlist inside the server. This module is important and so popular, because it prevents you and your computer from being constantly connected to the server. In that way you can make a mix of live stream and auto DJ stream. So how to use it? These are the buttons to manage this module. Disk space, 1024, means that you can upload only 1024 megabytes of MP3 files. It can certainly be upgraded by clicking on it and choosing a bigger storage size. Backup is used to store the playlists and MP3 uploaded. The reason we need to store it as a backup is because sometimes the server is changed for different reasons and needs to restore the auto DJ planning that you made. After you've done your auto DJ adjustments, we recommend to store a backup and restore it when the server is replaced or changed. And finally, the auto DJ button, which is the main button to turn on the auto DJ mode, manage the MP3 files and the playlists. First, you should see this screen to enable the auto DJ. Note that once you enable it, the server changes to auto DJ mode, so it will disconnect your live show and switch to playing the playlists. First step is to upload the MP3 files to the server. You can do it by using FTP client software. For PC, we recommend to use FileZilla that has versions for Windows and Mac operating systems. Please download the software, install it on your device and launch it. Now, to connect to the Auto DJ server, please click on Click Here in the first row. After filling in the exact fields to the FTP client software, username, password, hostname, and FTP port, please click on the Quick Connect button. If the connection is successful, you should see these server directories. You should upload the MP3 files to the media directory. Please double click on the media directory and drag and drop the MP3 files into it or drag from the left window, the file manager of your computer, to the right window that shows the internal file manager of the Auto DJ server. Now wait a couple of minutes till all the MP3 were uploaded successfully. You can also click on the Click Here link in the second row to see the uploaded files list. After you've uploaded all the MP3, please click on the Click Here in the third row to add the uploaded songs to the Auto DJ playlist. If successful, you should see this message. The final step is to restart the server. This step is important because during the restart process, the playlist is updated inside the server. Once it's done, your listeners will hear the rotation playlist, playing all the MP3 files in rotation, in the same order you've uploaded the MP3. The playlist plays the files in a loop, meaning that when the last MP3 file stops playing, everything is repeated again from the beginning. When you decide to switch back to live streaming, just click on Disable Auto DJ, and then start live broadcasting with your live streaming software as usual. If you wish to add or remove the MP3 file from the playlist, just connect to the FTP again, upload the new MP3 files to the media directory or remove the files from it. Once this change is done, follow the steps 2, 3, and 4. Important Notice If the server is changed, all the MP3 files will be removed from the Auto DJ server. It means if you log into the FTP, you'll find an empty media directory. To return back to the MP3 files, click on the Backup button and Restore. The backup step is very important so you won't lose the playlist you've made before. That's it. Have a nice streaming. Listen to my radio, stop dreaming and start streaming.